Twelve nations led by the United States on Wednesday jointly warned Yemen's Houthi rebels of unspecified consequences unless they halt attacks on the Red Sea shipping vessels. Now, the statement comes after several reports that President Joe Biden's administration is considering direct strikes on the rebels if these attacks continue. Signatories of the statement include Britain, which on Monday issued its own warning to the Houthi rebels of direct action, as well as Australia, Canada, Germany and Japan. We have uh, Alan Sorensen, uh, who is a West Asia journalist, joining us on this story. Mr. Sorensen, explain to us the significance of this joint statement. The signatories include all major countries. Yes, it is a very significant development because three months have passed uh, since the 7th of October, since the war started between Israel and Hamas, and the Houthi movement in Yemen have been attacking throughout this war, and now the first response seems to be uh, ready, uh, meaning that these 12 countries uh, are now together in a coalition, and they are on their way. Some of them are already in Yemen. Denmark is sending a, a ship, a, a warship, to the area as well. And the big question is, actually, if this is going to be a defensive coalition or if the coalition is also seeing the possibility of attacking Houthi positions in, inside Yemen. Right. Thank you, Mr. Sorensen, for joining us. So, so to oh, okay. Also, all, also tell us about a little bit about uh, uh, the Houthi rebels. Who are they, and what is the significance of this joint statement that twelve nations have set out, have put out? Okay, the, the Houthi movement ha, ha, has been along for a long uh, for a long time. Uh, they took part and gained ground in the Yemen civil war. Um, and, and they are also being um, uh, supported by Iran with weapons and ammunition. They are a Shiite uh, group. Uh, and they are in alliance with uh, Iran. And thereby, or because of this role, they are attacking Israel uh, these days in sympathy with Hamas in Gaza, but also as a part of the resistance movement, the regional resistance against Israel, which uh, Iran and, and Hezbollah and Hamas are also a part of. Um, and therefore, it, is, it has a great uh, significance that, that this uh, Western coalition is now ready to uh, defend Israel uh, against the Houthis and maybe also even attack the Houthis without, within uh, Yemen. Right. Alan, also these attacks on Red Sea or shipping vessels, if they don't stop, what is the kind of impact do you see this having on world economy, logistics, fuel prices? Oh, it, it already has, uh, um, uh, it already plays a role. I mean, 12% of global trade goes uh, uh, in, I mean, runs through this area. Um, ships passing through the Suez Channel in, in Egypt. Um, and, and lately, some ships, even uh, some of the great shipping companies, have been uh, forced to, to sail uh, around Africa instead of passing through the Suez Channel. And this is, of course, a, a direct, um, um, or directly it has influence on, on, the, on the prices on goods in, in Europe, but also in, internationally. And, and, and therefore, it's important, and therefore, this uh, coalition against the Houthi movement has come in place. Also explain to us the role of U.S. in this, because clearly the role of U.S. in the um, Israel-Hamas war has been uh, sort of most significant. And now that uh, Joe Biden's administration is also considering direct strikes on the rebels, the elections are coming up. So explain to us the significance of the United States of America getting into something like this. Yes, I, I think the, uh, what we hear from the, from the U.S. Uh, is that they cannot really pull out at, at this moment, because that means that they will leave everything to, to Iran and those allied with Iran. And therefore, uh, the U.S. is keeping their, their ships, their, their, they keep on sending weapons and, and ammunition to Israel. There's still a fear for a, a greater regional war, not only with the Houthis in Yemen, but also with Hezbollah in, in Lebanon. And therefore, um, the stakes are still very high, even though... Uh, uh, Three months have passed since, since the beginning of this war between Israel and Gaza. There's still a great concern uh, for a regional war. And therefore, the United States are not pulling out at this moment. On the contrary, they are uh, trying to deter Iran from, uh, from increasing the attacks on Israel or those allied with Iran. 
and therefore they are uh, they are keeping their their uh, their ships and their ammunition and their soldiers in in the region. Right. Thank you, Alan, Alan for joining us with those uh, details on that very important story of U.S. and allies warning Houthi rebels on uh, their attacks on uh, Red Sea sea vessels.